Nearly a month of searching and investigators with 25 different agencies are still hunting for Libby and Abby's killer. We're bringing in CBS 4's Trisha Hart here in studio and you've got information on this mountain of tips and the plea for even more. That's right, Frank. They've received more than 11,000 calls and emails, but still no break in this case. Now as the FBI goes and vets each one, law enforcement wants to remind everyone to still report anything that could help catch this killer. The FBI answers each tip in Washington. They vet them, then look to see if they're matching other information they received. Any potential leads are then sent back to Delphi for follow-up. So far, they've cleared 2,000 tips and have 1,500 in the queue for further investigation. I mean, we had one person that we thought has to be him. And then as we, we got into it, we found out there was no way it could have been him. So, you know, it, it just it, there's the ups and downs in any type of job. Uh, but this is probably a little more emotional just because uh, it, you're dealing with kids. Now, many people have called in the sex offender registry in Carroll County. Investigators say those individuals have been eliminated as suspects. Now they're asking people to not call in duplicate tips. They've received a lot of people. You know, they're worried that they haven't heard anything back. Investigators say if they do want more information from you, they will call you. They do have a lot of work ahead of them. Still thousands of tips just to sift through. It's just good that people are calling, mm -hmm. even though they say they need more. And it's good that people are responding.